there are some flipping stunning houses along here, aren't they? Airport again. Just a few weeks after coming back from Seville. So where are we going, Lou? Boston. Boston. Massachusetts. US. Oh yeah, no Boston, Lincolnshire. So we're going Boston, US. Yep. We've got the kiddos with us. Megan's behind us there somewhere on the walkway. There's Henry. There's Lewis. We're just going off to our gate now to go and catch the flights. We will see you later. And she's We were just talking about all of the places that we can eat when we go to America that we like and Megan has just reminded me that we can go to Chipotle. Mm. Chipotle! Okay, so you might be wondering why Boston. It was a bit of a random one. During Covid, uh, we had booked flights to New York with the kids. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't go because of the pandemic. So we had a lot of credits back from Virgin Atlantic. So we had a look around, saw what flights we could get, um, and we have decided to uh, go to Boston. So we're taking the three younger kids. Um, we're quite excited, we're there for about 11 days, and we're gonna take you on our journey. Welcome to Boston. This is our room for the night. There you go. Two double beds. And then a sofa bed down here for Megan. Oh, Wave, Megan. In on me. Good evening. We're going to go and get a beer and something to eat oh. because it's been a long day travelling. So here's our bathroom, which is absolutely huge. I will quickly take you in. Have a look at that. Look at that. Shower. And for you, all of you that have been watching us on the Camino, this is like luxury. Isn't it, Louise? It is. Happy? Yeah, all good for a night. All Perfect. good for one night. Fantastic. Look, and even the closet. <laughs> even the closet is like a room in itself. Look at this. Oh my God. You can tell we're in America. Anyway, right, we're off for our dinner and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Welcome to Salem. Welcome to Salem. How exciting. We've been really looking forward to this, haven't we, Megan? Yeah. So we have just parked the car over in that direction somewhere after um, touring around Salem yeah. for it's, what seemed an eternity. Yeah, the traffic's really busy here. It's Friday morning. So we're going to go and find um, the Witch Museum. Yeah. Which yeah. we've got tickets for for 11.45. So we're, going to so we're heading in that, that direction. direction now. The houses are so pretty. Aren't they? They're gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Amazing. Henry's going past every one of them. That one. That one. <laughs> we'll buy that one. Can we buy that one? So if you're not familiar with Salem, it was one of the early settlements in that area and became an important trading port. Nowadays, its identity revolves around being the centre of the infamous witch trials which took place in 1692. Okay, Meg, where are we going? Salem Witch Museum. You're quite kind of looking forward to this, aren't you? Yeah. So we've heard mixed reviews about this, haven't we? Yeah, most people say it's awful. 
Most say what? Most, most people say the witch is awful. <laughs> I think it's basic, isn't it? So you have to book your tickets online for the Salem Witch Museum and you have to book them same day. So you need to log on in the morning that you want to go and then you pre-book your time. It was, I think, $16.50 for adults and then children under 14, which is handy, were like $13.50, something like that. So. And you check in over there? You go and check in over there. Check in over there. Okay, sticker. Get stickers. And then queue over here. And then queue over here. I think it starts with a film. Ooh. Just to let you know, we're not allowed to film in there. So we will tell you what it's like when we pop out the other side. I want you the pen thing. There you go. Hello. What do you think? I thought that was quite interesting actually. I thought it was just the right level of length and yeah. Any advice? Uh, sit in the middle. Yeah. Don't sit on the edges, sit in the, on the stools in the middle. Yeah. Um, takes about what, three quarters of an hour? Hmm. It was interesting though. It's just, you know, quite light but very interesting and the way they then like tie it to witch hunts modern day witch hunts is quite interesting mm. yeah very good so we've just come to the memorial in salem um, and each one of these benches here that has got a flower on is in remembrance of one of the 19 that died during the witch trials Interesting little fact, it's literally just by the crematorium around here. So there you go, see the crematorium. Megan, show people what date it is today. It's the 19th of August. And what day did John to die, Megan? 19th of August. Is it? <laughs> it's a <laughs> So we've left uh, Salem behind and we have just entered, after what, about three hours drive? Mm. Uh, we've just entered into the White Mountain Forest area um, and we're just about a quarter of an hour away from our accommodation for tonight, which we have been told by Louise is a quirky farm. together yeah so we got into boston last night as you know we stayed in a place called revere or reverie i'm not sure beach yeah. just on the sort of near the airport on the revere coast beach. Mm. we went to salem it's about half an hour drive to salem we spent a bit of time in salem today we went to the museum of witchcraft or the witch trials museum and then we drove up to the hamptons we stopped mm. at hampton beach state park we didn't film there because it was heaving and it feels a bit uncomfortable filming where people are mooching around in their bikinis <laughs> I, I felt a bit like that's a little wrong a bit odd but it was really busy but really nice and then we drove through the hamptons had a bit of a goggle at some of the houses we actually diverted right down one of the side streets the residential areas it looked amazing didn't we wow Quite we've just been now. paying big the houses again there are some Flipping, stunning houses along here, aren't they? 
Wow. We've gone into Stalkerville. <laughs> yeah. So we've just driving out to people's streets. Yeah. And we actually had people like waving at us. <laughs> like we're their neighbours. <laughs> I think we would fit in really well. Oh, uh, we totally live here. So we were, we were all picking our own homes that we'd like to live in. Uh, but obviously well out of our um, <laughs> financial. Yeah. Ability. It's one of my favourite things actually when we go somewhere and the kids are engaging in the back of the car because often they're like staring at the phones aren't they mm. but when the kids are going oh I like that one oh I like that one I like that one you kind of know that they're they're engaging a bit which is nice so we did that and then it's been about two and a half three hours drive mm. into the White Mountains mm. where we are now in a place called Easton I think mm. just near Franconia mm. so we're in a valley we've got a beautiful red barn to the left we've got a really pretty little farmstead we'll show it you properly tomorrow in the daylight because it's getting dark now but it's real quirky and it's beautiful so we're here for two nights yes um so we're going to do a bit of venturing tomorrow um not quite sure yet no, where but we're going to get out and about tomorrow because it's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and a special day tomorrow mm. so like and subscribe and watch the next episode to see why yeah <laughs> <laughs> Something to do with me. <laughs> right, no nice.